g'day, it's a hot Tuesday afternoon here in Australia and most people are starting to get ready for tea but I thought I'd uh, sit down and just let you people out there that are interested uh, in niche marketing let you know a little bit about how I how I find all the hot niche markets I need and uh, you can too. Now niche markets niche markets are everywhere and you don't need no fancy tools or all the like, all you need is a bit of Always needs a bit of a uh, uh, an awareness of what people are actually looking at today, and what are they, you know, what are they their trends to buy, and what are they talking about? Because while people are talking about different things, it means that um, they are interested in that, and from that they may they may um, want to purchase things, and you know, and you like to, to sort of be in that niche area yourself, and you can benefit from that. Now, one way I use a few tools that um, are very beneficial that I feel, that, and they're free, and they, like I said, they don't cost you nothing uh, to to get onto and, um, and and look at getting these niches and and finding where they are, what they are, and how you may be able to be involved in those niches. And one of the best ways I found is uh, Google Trends. Now, Google Trends is a great site to use to find out what people are talking about and you can see here from the Google Trends page it's, uh, it's at www.google.com forward slash trends you see that they've, they've posted links to the top 10 uh, items that people are searching for and asking about on the net but what I like to do is I think to try and find out what a lot more people are actually looking at I like to find out, and uh, there's a link down here. It's, it's called More Hot Trends. Now, if I click on that, that this link, it'll take me to uh, to more to more trends. And we'll just go there now. And here we are at, um, at Google's Hot Trends. This is the top 100 for uh, for May the 26, 2008. And in this, there's a, a large number of uh, of different things that people are talking about. Um, some are a bit, uh, um, uh, a little bit over the top. Uh, here's one at uh, Vacation Swap. Uh, the people are talking about uh, the Jasmine guy, whoever he is. Uh, I don't see really too much, of too much interest. Uh, uh, Scar, Heavy, and the like. It's good to see. Uh, People are still looking for Star Trek, so and that could be interesting. That uh, you might find um, stuff within Star Trek Enterprises. Uh, that link that people could be looking for for paraphernalia or whatever to 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 get. So that's, that could be that could be something that um, is down the, low on the list, but it, it certainly could be something to look at. Let's see what's got. I love money. Now that may be interest. We might go there and have a look, drill down a little bit, and uh, and see what uh, bring, what that brings us. Yeah, it brings us to an interesting page that um, had a peak four hours ago. This is the trend. It's certainly, uh, as you can see, four hours ago, the peak in uh, in what uh, was happening, and um, as we can see by that, and that. Uh, peak it come about I believe from just a TV show by the look of things here if we go down here we'll see it uh, bear with me yeah something happening for yeah another great way of finding out uh, what type of niche may be available that uh, you uh, may want to get involved in is if you go to a site called dig now dig is a, a news site then certainly you by going onto that site, you can get a lot of information about what people are thinking today. And as you can see here, that um, uh, there's a page that comes up, and people have a look at these posts, and on that, on that, from those posts, they they can make a, uh, a comment and uh, share share what they believe if it's a topic that they uh, they enjoy or, or, or the like. And uh, how they do the more topic, the more comments they make. The, the higher the, um, the the topic gets placed in the rankings 
and that's how this works so you can tell by way of how many people actually do make comments and, uh, and do click onto the, the, the post you can tell what people are actually thinking about and there's a great there's a bit of, there's a tool with this within this as well and it's you can see what's happened in the last 24 hours and this tool here if you go if you touch that on that on that you'll get bring up a um, the last views the last 24 hours and this certainly does give you a, a, a broad insight on what is of interest to a lot of people uh, today and um, what they're thinking about and uh, and certainly their trends uh, as, as you can see so it's an interesting site to be on and certainly it, it, it's a quick way I believe to, to finding out what people are actually uh, what's on their minds at the present time and finally but not least another way of, of uh, finding out what people are thinking and how what they're trending for any t particular time is if you have a look at uh, what they're actually buying on eBay and uh, the we know people do buy on eBay, but the trick about eBay is to actually find out what they are actually buying. And we can do that by using a tool that eBay has. And the tip is that if you go to eBay uh, front page, home page, you'll see this categories. And if you click on the categ categories, it'll bring up all these different categories, listings that um, eBay has. And from those listings, we can certainly find a, a, a tool that helps us work out what people are actually buying. Now, if we just click on any one of these, um, any one of these uh, links, and certainly we'll just go to computers for the time being. Uh, it's only because I've been here before, but it works for any one of these. If we go to the computers, and you'll come up with a uh, come up with a, the, the computers networking um, category, and if we in this category, we can we can drill down and we can actually find a uh, a very important um, bit of information that it tells us what people are actually buying in this category and you can see that uh, here it says the, the popular searches and you can see it gives you the last five or the highest five popular searchings uh, in this category and if we go into the popular searches for computing and networking comes up uh, we can actually go to the cat categories and we give it the popular keywords you can see what people are actually doing uh, on a bit more of a, um, a finer note and you can see that people are looking to buy computers outright they're looking at Dell when they're looking at computers uh, desktops laptop computers memory they're looking at notebooks PDAs and software so so these are the, these are the search terms they're looking for when they're going to come into this category so that in itself gives you a, a more of an insight of the trends that, of people what they're buying and if we, we go to home garden and it does the same um, it'll, it'll give you the same results you can find out what people are, are doing and they're, 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 they're buying trends so it, again it's great it's a great tool which we can use to uh, work out what uh, and uh, work out a niche that's of interest that we can we can get into. Yeah, and there you have it. That's the uh, that's the three websites that I use, and uh, the tools that, that are on those websites that you can uh, look at and you can see from those tools what's happening today, what are the trends, uh, certainly what the hot topics of the day are, and what are people actually buying on site. Once you've got that information, you need to use it wisely. To do what? To make money. So use this information and start being profitable online. Uh, I have a great website that uh, you can go and have a look at. And you can see you can, with that website it, it gives you a bit of information that uh, certainly will go a long way to setting you up in your niche market. And uh, start doing exactly that, being profitable online. So go there, it's, it's nichebiz.gavshannon.com. Go and have a look, see if, it's, um, if it interests you, and get on board. Anyway, that's Gav from Australia again. I uh, look forward to talking to you again at some time, and um, signing off. G'day.